I'll tell you what. Bourbon orange baked beans made with orange juice. It's really not good. But luckily I'm not here to talk about cooking. I'm here to talk about sampling. And I'm not necessarily great at that either. But I like what I did today. My name's Brad Shoemaker. I play keyboards uh, on some low forest recordings. And I played around with sampling today and I like what I made. And Josh wanted me to make a video about it. And I thought that was a good idea. So this is Reaper. Reaper is a DAW. Um, it's free or really cheap. I think it's uh, whenever I paid for it, it was $40. And it's great um, because it can do a lot. It's a real DAW and it's 40 bucks. Like pros use it. It's amazing. Anywho, so I have... Uh, I have three samples here, and I made these samples after watching this video called Use This 90s Sampling Technique for Ethereal Pads by ThoughtForms. And in this video, he explains why isolating a single note, either from a synth that you have or from a previously recorded piece of music, isolating a single note, and then playing back chords with that single sample so that what you create is this sort of cascade of the sample being played back multiple times at multiple rates and sometimes these play individual playbacks will like line up with each other and then and then move apart creating a sort of maybe maybe polyrhythmic De definitely an interesting texture and he uses a plugin in this video that visualizes it very well and then it just kind of clicked with me it's like oh that's that's why sampling sounds good to me sometimes even though I myself am not really good at sampling but I liked what I did today after watching that video so let me get into that uh, this is one sample that I have uh, I pulled it from a piece of music that I like and it's just one one note that was played and it sounds like this kind of spooky here's three notes so it's being played back simultaneously three different passes looping That's good stuff. Here's another one I did. Different song. Really vibey. Really nice. And then here is some Gregorian Monk music that I found online. And this one, it sounds like a sample of a, a like, choir awe. It might be listed in the drop-down menu of whatever old sampler or rompler that you're using. Maybe you're playing an old video game. It's good. And then you play them all together. I think that sounds pretty nice. Let me shut the reverb off so you can just hear it on its own. It still sounds nice. Uh, just for transparency, what I also have going on here, um, this is a little tool in Reaper's effects uh, bank. 
it, all it does is transpose the notes an octave up um, because my particular keyboard patch sounds good an octave lower than what I play the samples at. So that fixes that problem. Uh, just a Valhalla plate reverb. You can reverb, I'm sorry, Reaper has its own reverbs that sound fine. Um, I'm not using any of these. I'm using a stereo width modifier to take out some of the center channel just to make room for the uh, for the keyboard signal itself which I will play in a little bit and then just a couple of filters to take out some low end and some high end uh, take rolling off some high end can be pretty um, important with sampling because as you start lowering the pitch of a sample sometimes you will find some anomalies that don't really fit what you're going for. So my low pass filter took care of that. So anyways, now I'm going to play you what the keyboard, the Korg Op 6, what this patch sounds like on its own. I've had to remake this video 10 times because I'm being really particular. I can't remember if I did this already. <laughs> sounds all right on its own but it's a little too it for this particular project that I'm working on it's it's a little too clean it's a little too um synthetic for a synthesizer I guess so I'm gonna blend the two and let's see what that sounds like see what I'm going for? You see what I mean? It's like sometimes in synthesis you will add noise to a signal and that can work pretty well at pushing it to the background a little bit, kind of making, you know, making an ethereal pad that you want to be behind everything else. But I find finding noisy samples and doing the same thing with that you can uh, you can get some interesting results it's good stuff anyways i hope you like this if you have questions please comment um and if you want to check out Bonecaster, I've got some stuff up on SoundCloud. Uh, just, just some ideas, some stuff that's getting close to a finished song. And you can also follow me on uh, Bandcamp. Hopefully I'll have something out there pretty soon. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good night.